Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Noble C. Darby III, Senior Pastor of Tragedy and Triumph Ministries and co-owner with my wife of Darby Three Legacy Training Center. And so I'm so honored to be here before you. I just want to talk to you a little bit about faith under fire. That seems to have become my first name, my middle name, Amen. and my last Come name. Come on, now. I believe I got a witness here. I want you to turn with me to James, the first chapter, and I want you to just look with me at verses 1 through 8. I really need to tell somebody that sometimes uh, faith will cause you to have a celebration even before you experience the problem. Oh, come on, somebody. See, 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 because what happens is this. We, we have trained our ears, and we're still trying to get our heart to line up with the fact that just because I heard a good word doesn't mean I'm going to march right into my victory immediately. Amen. Sometimes what you have to understand is that we all like a prophetic word. We get excited. We run around the church. We fall out and all of these other things. But sometimes you can shout over your instruction. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. <laughs> sometimes you need to be careful and, uh, and, and understand that faith cometh by hearing. Mm -hmm. I have to have more than a natural ear. Come on. I have to have a spiritual yes. divine ear to discern that look, I may have got a celebratory word, but there's something called process. Come on, man. There's something that I'm gonna have to experience. There's, there's something that I'm gonna have to go through that is gonna shape me and that's gonna make my celebration valid. Come on, man. Because sometimes we, we, we get so excited and we shout about the word that we get and then as time goes, say as time goes, as time goes. then we go and indict God when it looks like God's word that was delivered didn't come to pass. Wow. Can I tell you something? In every situation, in every problem, God ought to find your faith print on your problem. Oh, come on, oh, man. Come on, somebody. Yeah, sure. Oh, if, 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 if I was a criminal investigator and, and, and I wanted to know if a person did something, I got to search for some form of evidence yeah. that you were the one that were there. But why is it when it comes to us believing God, all God can count on is us crying and whining. All of us, uh, sometimes we are asking God for a bottle. God, I don't want to go through this. Mm. And God is saying, no, you have to go through this yeah. because this is going to develop you and make you mature enough to handle your next move. Come on. Sometimes, sometimes we really uh, don't want God to move us into where we need to be. Sometimes we really uh, want to move out of that situation. Huh? But can I tell you something? Huh? God doesn't do no social passing when it comes to your faith experience. Huh? Either you pass the class huh, or God will recycle you huh, mm. until you do. Right? Come on, right? Yeah. Hello. Apostle James says, now, now this is what you need to understand about what you're dealing with. You got to learn how to count it all joy. Right. It. We know how to count dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we know how to count what we want to experience, how many shoes, all of these other things. Uh, but God is saying what you don't understand is when you go through a faith storm, I add multiplication. Ooh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We, we, I know we, we, we miss that. Mm -hmm. Because anytime we have to go through something, we spend more time on being a newscaster than a forecaster. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Right. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll sit down and take our seat of complaining and we'll give God an A list of all the things that appears to have gone wrong. Mm -hmm. And God is saying, here's what, here's what I need to get my people. Mm -hmm. I need to train my people's hearts mm -hmm. so they don't hear the wrong things with their ears. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That happens too many times. Yes. But watch this. Faith puts you in a position where you have to understand in order for God to get the product, you have to go under a refiner's fire. Ooh, yeah. Some of us, when we come under fire, 
We act surprised when we see ashes. Uh, ashes is an indication that God separated me from what didn't need to be in my life. That's good, man. But the problem is, we want to take the ashes with us. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, right. Come on, somebody. Oh. Let the ashes stay where they are. God can pull beauty from ashes. But you got to believe God through this whole process. Tell your neighbor, it's process. As I said earlier, first point. Don't become more excited about what you've been promised and miss your word of instruction because you've been running around the church, falling out, mm. and all these other things. So when the heat comes, all you got is exercise, but no revelation. Come on. Come on. I'm going to say that again. That's good. Yeah. I'm excited. The prophet gave up, or the prophetess gave up, an incredible word that was tailor fit for my life, but I didn't know how to tame my emotions. Ooh. So my emotions ran away with my instruction. Yes. So now am I in the midst of my fire? All I really can think about is I ran around and I shouted, but I have nothing to pull from <laughs> to validate what I need to do in my struggle. Hmm. People of God, that's why I tell people all the time, I'm, I'm not impressed. I, I've been in this a long time. I grew up a PK. I'm not impressed by people falling out, weave all over the place, and all of this other thing, and there's no product out of your life. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. If you understand faith under fire, every time something, a problem comes, you understand that through the codes of adversity, God is going to do what I need him to do in my life. Because I don't know about you. God said either you hot or cold. I don't want no lukewarm nothing. Because lukewarm don't even have a taste. All it has is a bad experience. You have to ask yourself, I'm tired of being lukewarm. Let me go through my faith struggle. Let me go through whatever God says, this is my plight. Uh, this is my cross. See, we want crowns, and we want to pick our own Jews. Mm. God, you know what? I don't want to go through this. God, I don't want to go through that. God, I just want you to do this. Sometimes you got to tell yourself, shut up. Right. God, whatever your will is, do it, Lord. Just give me the strength, huh? and let me keep the vision, huh? and let me keep the correct mindset, huh? that I'm not only going to go through, huh? but I'm going to go through victorious. Huh? Yeah. Too many come people on, go on. through, but they're bitter. Huh? Yeah. I don't want your bitter spirit huh? flowing off on me. Huh? I want you to understand that whatever God does, huh, it works for my good. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Can I just give you a little commercial what Apostle Paul said? <laughs> Apostle said, as we know, huh, yeah. you got to check yourself huh, before you wreck yourself. Huh. As we know that all things huh, work <laughs> together for the good huh, of yeah. them that love God. Huh. Now watch this. Huh. You got to ask yourself, huh, have I been called? Have I been called? Come I'm on. upset huh, Come on. because I forgot I was called huh, <laughs> according not to your purpose, huh, but according to yeah. God's purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. God can do whatever he wants oh, to do right. as long as he wants to. Yeah. Yeah. Come, on. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Mm. <laughs> when your faith is under fire, you gotta watch who you talk to. Y'all When your faith is under fire, you gotta be careful who you talk to. Because some folk is not bringing water. They bring it. What's that other stuff you put the cause of? Greater fire, a lighter fluid? <laughs> God knows how long I need to burn. I don't need your assistance. But you ain't trying to burn me. You're trying to barbecue. Come on, man. And nothing worse than damaged goods. You know what? Deliberately. Now, I'm not saying 
thing because God specializes in damaged goods. But sometimes we allow those that are close to us Come on, man. to damage us yeah, because yeah. we become so needy. Mm -hmm. Because we don't want to go through the process. We don't want to trust God, so I'd rather trust you. Ah. So instead of God's word becoming my God, mm -hmm. God's word becoming a battle, now I made you. And now when you hurt me, I'm disappointed. I'm broken, but yeah. I'm the one that didn't yeah. focus yeah. on what God said in his word. Can I tell you all something? If you're going to have faith, it will produce a confrontation. I know it will. So any Christians don't like to fight, Come on. you might as well put your flag down, I'll put your banner. He ain't your Jehovah Nisi. I know that's right. Come, Come on, on now. Man. You're going to have to enter in some spiritual warfare. Yes, but what I love about it is that I already won before the fight. Come right. on now. See, 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 that's what faith means. Under fire, yes. I'm an ex-combat soldier. I understand something about being under fire. Yes. Yes. But one thing about the matter, how many times you fire at me? If I'm covered, I'm protected. I know. Yes. Yes. Fire all you want to. Because yes. last I heard, he's a shit. Come on. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Glory. No matter how much I've been trained in combat, what the word gives me, Mm. It's is, is far superior to my own intellect. Yeah. And, and that's the problem when your faith is under fire. You, you, you cannot be trained to your intellect, mm. but you must be trained to the word of God. Yeah. Huh? Because see, sometimes when we tell people things, huh, people come with their own revelation huh, yeah. that doesn't line up with the word of yeah. God. Huh? And like I said, if you've been under fire for a while, huh, there's something called weary. Huh? That's why God said, don't be weary in well-doing. Huh? Yeah. But if you faint not, mm. come on somebody. Yes, you can't faint, faint in the process of your transformation. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you, you never look better in your trouble. Mm -hmm. You never look better in your trouble. That's your true identity. Mm -hmm. That's when the true picture of if you have God's faith print or not is going to be revealed. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, anybody can smile and show all their 32. I don't know how many people there. <laughs> but, but anybody can smile and show all their 32 when everything is going good. Huh? But I, but I want to know, can you can command your mouth huh, and your spirit huh, anywhere that rise to the occasion every single day? Huh? Can, can I just be transparent? For a second, I didn't come under faith under fire by coincidence, but by design. Come on, sir. Mm -hmm. I suffered three heart attacks, mm -hmm. chronic post-traumatic stress, all of these other things. And, but but what it did, it gave me an opportunity to see God in a way I've never seen. Mm -hmm. Ah, Jesus. see, see, that's why you can't allow your tr trouble to cause you to focus on the wrong picture, right. on, okay? You have to understand that really what God wants you to see in trouble is transition. Mm. He wants you to see triumph. You can't come out of a difficult place and say you're gonna remain the same if you truly had a visitation from the Lord. Yeah. Can I tell you how much time I got? Woo. Okay, good. Now, watch this. Why is it necessary for my faith to come under fire? Because nothing grows until it's first disturbed. Mm. Uh, I'm going to say that again. Nothing grows until it's first disturbed. And, 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 and I'm going to be very honest with you. I'm like this. I'm like, well, well, Lord, you know, how come I just can't go and preach to folk? How come I ain't got to deal with all this? Other stuff, how come folk ain't looking and frowning at me while I'm just trying to help their life? God, I just want to preach my little message and, and go home, eat my, I can't even have fried chicken, but I'm going to eat some chicken in my warm bread and watch right. football yeah. and hold my wife in my lap. How right. come it just can't be that easy? No. No. Because your assignment will never allow you to come be on. comfortable. Right. Because if you want to be comfortable, God cannot take you to your Ooh, next move, to that. your next level. You have to learn how to be uncomfortable, but yet stay connected. Oh, okay. I'm going to say that again. That's good. You have to learn how to be uncomfortable, but yet stay connected. 
Because sometimes when we become uncomfortable, we get mad and we get angry and we start indicting God and indicting people. I couldn't honestly say, well, God, you called me into the ministry over 22 plus years ago. But God, you ain't tell me how folk was going to act. You ain't tell me I'm going to get cussed out. You ain't tell me all these other things. He didn't have to. What he did tell me is that I chose you. <laughs> when God chooses you, it don't matter what your plight is. Because you chose me, I know you will carry me. I'm going to say that again. Your faith under fire, God, will, God has chosen you. He will also carry you through everything that you face. Come on now. Now watch this. Anytime you don't want to grow and you don't want to mature in God, we fight the process. When we fight the process, we also delay the blessing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that again. When we fight the process, we also delay the blessing. I don't know about you, I don't want my blessing delayed because of something that I'm doing. That's right. Did y'all catch that? Yeah. Because sometimes we go into God and we say, God, you, you know what, what the problem is? <laughs> God, I've been faithful. I've, isn't it funny in trouble how we can give God all of my good points? Come on. Okay. My time is up. Thank you for you. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. That's all right, just invite us to your yeah. church to hit it right there. Yeah. 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 151 on Broadway. To be continued. To be continued. He can come to any one of our churches.